Um, let's do another script. In this case, we're going to use a script which is called multi attach or must attach. What does it do? It, if you have individual objects, it just connects all the objects into a single mesh in this case. Uh, why is it important? Because there are several options inside uh, Max, standard options, which I will show you now. Um, but the main thing is what they all do is they keep track of an undo option and this undo option makes it relatively slow or impractical. And so let me show you just the differences. Um, so I named this one, I named it Mesh. So we're doing the editable mesh way. You got the attach list button, you select the mesh options. So these are the parts. You say we want to match the IDs. Yes, I want to match the material IDs as well. So run, here you go. There it is. This is now a multi sub material and it's one single mesh now. We can do the same for the editable poly. It doesn't have the attach list, but it has an attach list, which is the small button next to the attach button. So use that one. Select the poly objects, which I named poly say attach same question about the materials here you go run done so same result kind of more or less the same amount of time and remember that with just a few objects in this case uh, it doesn't take that long saving all these undos it's just a matter of knowing the other one which I got down here is named collapse it's a utility which is there as well so if you use the collapse utility you can select a single object mesh but it has some drawbacks, so if I select all the Collapse Objects, which I named like that, Collapse, here you go, this one, if I now press Collapse Selected, you can see it loses the material, so this is not the best option, it's one of the older ones, but it's still there, so it works, but you lose all your material info. So now for the script, it's this one, uh, called all the parts mass attach, so let me run a script you go mass attach looks like this the mass attach you can find it in the website max user group go to max script it's here it's called multi attach by the way it doesn't matter and it was created by people from snowball vfx um, this is the one i'm using there are several scripts out there who do this multi attach or mass attach whatever you want to call it so attaching objects without saving the step back so without the option of going back because it's uh, it doesn't save the undos which makes it a lot faster so how does it work well select all the objects that's one so mass attach objects so select them run the script put in your name whatever name you want to run and it's done in 0 0.533 seconds you can see it down there so now this is an all too special but if you have way more objects you will see the time difference so let me unhide all and show you a bunch of teapots of course we love the teapots so I got teapots down here and I got teapots down here so if I select all these teapots down here and use the mass attach tool you can see it takes about 1.85 seconds to do all of these and that's pretty fast but remember down here no undo so if I now select I'll just throw those away take this one go here I use the attach list so I select all the teapots the remaining ones and say attach you can see it takes way much longer than 1.85 seconds it takes about three four five seconds or whatever you can see it in real time so this means that if you have more and more objects the time will explode and it might even get max into non-response mode but there is the undo option to go back to all the individual ones so that's the advantage disadvantage is the amount of time it takes uh, finally, these small scripts, they are pretty useful. Um, personally, what I do is the following. I have this one, I run script. It's a, it catches scripts. So basically what I've done is I take small scripts, adjust them a little bit on the UI level. So I get this, well, let's say floating window, which I can use where all my scripts, which I use pretty heavily, 
are down here in the same size, same windows and so on. So it's a more convenient way than every time go back to max script, run the script and blah blah blah. So I use this one, which is pretty nice. But for now, you can download this one down here on the website and say thank you to the guys from Snowball. Cheers.